GRT is one of the few AI coins that I believe is going to give us more than a 10x in this bull market. And on today's video, I will be focusing on my long-term price prediction analysis. And above all, give you my short-term price prediction analysis. So make sure that you stick around till the end of the video. And starting the video here on the daily chart by first giving you my long-term price prediction analysis, basing my analysis on the additive structures. You can see that last year we got our bear market loss before we started an aggressive bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high above the 0.4947, completing the formation of this larger additive count one. And after we picked in that additive count one, I was expecting a bit of a breakdown move in the formation of these larger additive count two, whose minimum target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this blue target area, an area that I came up with using the Fibonacci, connecting the fibs from the bear market lows to the high above the 0.4947 in a move that gave me a minimum pullback target area between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.78. And that target area lies between the 0.2876 and the 0.168, which is the area over here. An area that we have now fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for that second wave. And in the next coming weeks or maybe months, we can start our aggressive bounce to the upside in the formation of these edit wave count 3 before we can expect a short term pullback in an edit wave count 4 then continue gearing up even higher in an additive count 5 in a move that should easily get us back above the $1 mark. And to just give you the minimum target areas that I have at the moment for that additive count 3, I can connect the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that additive count 1, then drag the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the FIB level 1.618 and that lies above the 0.7834. That is my minimum target area for that additive count 3. Then expect a wave 4 and even higher prices in an additive count 5. But you also need to have in mind that I have an issue with these additive structures still basing my analysis on the Fibonacci. If I connect the Fibonacci from the bear market lows to the high for that additive count one, you can see that at some point we lost the FIB level 0.78, but lucky for GRT that we have continued to hold above the last line of support, which is the FIB level 0.88, and that lies above the 0.129 dollars. And there are high chances that as long as we continue holding above this line of support, there's still a chance that we are, we, we are going to see a massive recovery to the upside, manage to break above significant key areas of resistances and start our impulsive movement to the upper side. But you also need to have in mind that there are chances that we can continue seeing further breakdown moves and maybe at some point we lose the FIB level 0.88. And if that is the case, then that will be increasing the likelihood that GRT is going to give us a total reset of the loss that you made, that is the bear market loss. So in case we lose the 0 0.1291 in the next coming days or maybe weeks, there's a chance of getting a new bear market low here on the GRT chart before we can start another recovery to the upside in a move that can easily take us back to new all-time highs. So that is all I'm expecting on the long term. And jumping to the one hour chart to now give you my short term price prediction analysis. Here on the one hour chart, you can see that after seeing our massive breakdown move on the 5th of August, we started a very nice bounce to the upside, obeying the additive structures, where I have been terming these as a wave one. Then we saw a bit of a breakdown move in an edit wave count 2 before we finally picked in this edit wave count 3. Then started a bit of a corrective structure in an edit wave count 4 whose minimum target areas I highlighted on the charts using this blue target area. 
an area that we fully maximized and, and at some point we saw a break to the lower side of this blue target area suggesting that we have now hit invalidation for this additive structure and now i need to have the alternative scenario on the charts which is an abc corrective structure terming this as a wave a then we saw pullback in a wave b before we finally picked in a wave c and there's a chance that whatever is playing out at the moment could be the start of another five wave structure to the lower side in a move that will either give us a reset of the lows that we made on the 5th of August. And in case we get a reset of the lows that we made on the 5th of August and continue seeing further breakdown moves, then that will be suggesting new bear market lows or maybe a reset of the bear market lows is coming in the next coming days. So that is all I'm expecting here on the GRT chart on the short term and also on the long term. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you up to date.